Okay, so we're going to create the backend now so that we can create the database. And then when we add an input onto here, we create a post method so that when we press the add button, we have a post method that creates a new to do. And then that would add onto the database. So if we go on to mongodb.com forward slash Atlas and click on try free for a new database, if you already have one, you can just log in or you can sign up with Google. So because I already have one, I'm just going to create a database. So if we go on database on the left and then click build a database, there is a free plan, which I will select and create and leave all the settings as they are and create the cluster like so. So this will take a couple of minutes to set up. So what I want to do now is outside of the to do front end, we are going to create a new folder. I'm going to call this one to do back end. And I also want to create a new terminal for the back end. So if I go on to my new terminal and cd into to do back end, I now want to initialize a new project within here. So if I type in npm init, I will get a series of questions. So the package name is to do backend, enter, the version is correct, the description is correct. The entry point will be server.js. Enter again, the git repository, enter ignore, no keywords. You could put your name in here. So my name, Imran, in the author. Enter again, is this okay? Yes. So now what will happen is in the back end, we will have a new file created. So the package.json file. And because the main file now will be the server.js, I now want to create that file. So server.js. And there's off, there are a few packages that I want to install also. So we are having a node back end and we are going to be using express. So install, so npm i express mongoose which will connect our backend to the database we want to have cause and dot env which we will like we will explain later on so if i install all of them dependencies and now if i go back onto my mongo database and i want to first off create a user so this is going to be myself imran and auto generate a secure password. I'm going to copy the password, which is very important, and then create the user. What I also want to do is we want to, on IP addresses, we want to add my current IP address. So now I have access in the database access. I want to also have network access. So this I am going to allow access from anywhere, which is not recommended, but it basically means that anyone can access this. So if I confirm, and then if I go into my database access, I have the user created here and back in my database, I now want to click connect and connect your application and the password that I copied, I want to paste that in. For now, I will just paste that in here. This is not recommended to share. I will delete this later uh, once this application is complete. So please follow the steps and use your own. And now if I copy the string also, and then where it says password, we want to insert our own password inside. So password like so. So in my server.js file, there are a few things that I also need to import. So because Node.js uses all the syntax, we now are, instead of having the import like we do on the React front end like this, we are going to instead say const express. So this is the package that we added from NPM is equal to require of express. I'm also going to have mongoose. So mongoose, which is equal to require of mongoose. I'm just going to copy this twice again, paste that in. So this one is going to be cause, cause that will be lowercase. And then we are also going to have dot env. And first off, I'm going to initialize the dot env dot config. I'm going to first off lay out what I'm going to do. So app 
config is going here. I also need the middleware. So this is things like when we need to convert the data into JSON. And we also need the DB config. And finally, the API endpoints that we will have. So the create, read, update, and delete will methods will go here. So API endpoints. So first off, we're going to initialize the app. So const app is equal to express. So we're initializing express. So that's our app. We're going to create a port. So const port, which is equal to process dot env dot port so we do need to create an env file which i will create in just a moment so port is process dot env dot port otherwise 8000 if the port's not there so if i create a new file dot env and in here i'm going to have a port of 8000 also so now our server js has access to the dot env which we initialized up here so now if I save all, I now need to create a connection URL. So connection URL, which is equal to process.env.mongo underscore URI. So the URI is going to be this string here. So if I cut that out, go into my env file and mongo underscore uri is equal to our connection which we have here on the left so if i close that down so now we should have a connection onto the database so now that i i have defined the app config i also need to add the middlewares on here so i want to convert everything to json so convert to json which will be app dot use and within here, I'm going to pass in express.json, which converts everything for me as a middleware. And what I also need to add is to manage the headers. So app.use of cores. And if you want to know further about cores, if you just look at the package. So that's the middleware is complete. Now for my DB config, I'm going to connect to mongoose. So mongoose.connect. And in here, I'm going to pass in the connection URL that I have passed. And then I am also going to have a dot then method. So this will return a promise. And in here, in the dot then, I'm going to pass in a callback, which will listen to the port. So app dot listen. And what we are listening for is the port, which we have defined up here. So if I just copy that as the first argument and then again a callback which we will console log and then we're going to have template literals so that we will have running on port and then we will pass the port number in here so port like so so if all is well we should see this message console log of running on port 8000 it should be and we also want to handle errors so dot catch and in here I'm going to pass in an error again callback and within here I'm just going to console.log whatever error is returned from here so to test that the connection is working I should expect to see running on port 8000 so if I run the backend so node server.js so I want to run the file within the backend folder called server.js so this file will run and then we will eventually can make the connection to the mongodb url and then once we've done that we will have the console log of running on port and it should be 8000 from the process emv.port or the 8000 so if i press enter we now have running on port 8000 and i have also got the local host set up as 8000 so now what we want to do is create the api endpoint but before we do that we are going to create a schema for the to do's which is basically a structure of how we want to send the to do's to the back end and how we also want to fetch the to do's from the back end